bless the lord jesus dear beloved i'm tanisha and welcome back to my channel thanks for being a part of spiritual growth with yours truly i am going to read psalms 91 now yes i'm i'm reading this for myself i'm saying let me make a video of it so i'm reading psalms 91 now and after i finish reading i'll be saying a prayer based on what the scripture is saying i know that many persons know this psalm it's a very popular psalm. all right so it's stop phrasing so i'm reading psalms 91 as i said and then i'm going to say a word of prayer so psalms 91 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and butler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that lie wait at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh unto thee only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on their feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So that's Psalms 91. It's a well-known psalm, as I said before. It is a, a, a covering psalm, a very protective psalm, asking the Lord for protections, glory, protection. Guys, it is not one way. When the enemy is rising up, when things begin to um, disarray in our life, it is not one way. Come on, it is in the night, it is in the morning, it is in the evening. No wonder in the word of God it says, it says, He shall cover me under his feathers and under his wing shall I trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The Bible tells us not to be afraid of the terror by night. Everything that rise up against you in the night, taking away your sleep. Yes, some of us we can't sleep in the nights our sleep is being disturbed because of the terror by night and there are pestilence that walk it in darkness and there is destruction that lie wait at noon day glory be to god there are so many destructive force and elements that are at work daily they are at work hallelujah the enemy is seeking who he may devour continually right round the clock the enemy is at work but the bible say a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand and it shall it shall not come nigh thy dwelling hallelujah to god the bible said he the lord gives his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways yes the lord give his angel charge over us 
to keep us in all his ways and therefore it goes right back to verse 1 and it says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty hallelujah to god glory be to god hallelujah jesus mighty god you are worthy you are worthy hallelujah to god lord jesus you are worthy to be praised mighty god i thank you right now mighty god for the protection that is on my life glory be to god i thank you lord jesus for the protection that is over my family i thank you lord jesus that you are my shield and buckler i thank you lord jesus that you see fit mighty god to send your angels mighty god to encamp round about me me lord jesus i thank you lord jesus that wherever there is war against me whether it be mentally physically emotionally whether it be psychosocially spiritually it doesn't matter emotionally god it doesn't matter you are my god my shield and my buckler and wherever there is problem wherever there is a situation wherever there is a disturbance lord god i thank you lord jesus that you are my protection i thank you lord jesus that it shall not come nigh unto me in jesus name i thank you mighty god for your shield for your your grace for your mercy that is on my life mighty god and i thank you lord jesus that for those who are even watching now mighty god those who are of faith those who are learning to have faith those who already trust in you to be a protector those who are learning to trust you to be a protector those who are just seeking if they can truly believe on you to be their shield i pray mighty god God, that they will re um, receive this psalms this this morning god this afternoon tonight whenever they are listening it oh glory be to god that you are our shield and butler glory be to god you will come to our aid glory be to god wherever there is destruction wherever there is pestilence wherever there is any form of disturbance in a believer's life life in your people's life glory be to god you are a defender of the fatherless you are a defender of the poor and needy oh god i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that you would just endure us with your power god give us more faith to believe in you give us more patience to wait on the deliverance mighty god help us to endure our child's and tribulation and believe that you are a god that will never fail you are a god that will not leave us you are a god that will not forsake us i thank god lord jesus that even when i fail to pray god almighty you are still god i thank you lord jesus that even when i fail to say thank you jesus you are still a provider i thank you lord god for being there for me god consistently i thank you lord jesus that you are the hills from whence cometh our help right now mighty god i pray eternal father that just as oh god you have revealed yourself to me god hallelujah to god you will reveal yourself to those who are seeking to know you god you will reveal yourself as a protector for those who are in um dismay god for those who are in turmoil in their minds and in their spirit uh, i pray lord god that your peace will be over such a one that such a one will come in contact with your presence in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father god i give you all the glory i give you all the praise mighty god that is due unto your name eternal father mighty god blocked out our sins blocked out our transgression glory be to god lord just help us god not to live by the old man's um um idea 
Help us not to live in the old man image, but help us to take on the new man form. Hallelujah to God. Help us to live in the newness of Christ each and every day. Help us to possess the fruits of the Spirit, God. Help us to possess the fruits of righteousness, O oh God. Help us, God, give us strength to forgive, mighty God. Help us to love God. Help us to be a brother and a sister to our neighbor God Almighty. The Bible says we must forgive that our sins will be forgiven. A lot of us, God, we are expecting from you. We are crying at the altar. We are waiting. We are praying. We are fasting. And we have not yet forgiven. Hallelujah. Those who have hurt us. We are not yet willing to let go of our pain. We are not yet willing to let go of our past. But glory be to God. It is a blockage, beloved. For the Bible said that we must forgive. Hallelujah to God. And our sins will be forgiven. That is why the word says 70 times 70. Must we forgive? Hallelujah to God. Leave vengeance to God. Beloved, left the vengeance to God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because your breakthrough is coming. Your deliverance is coming. Your healing is coming in the name of Jesus. You can't afford to miss out after all that fasting. You can't afford to miss out after all that waiting because now you have become like the situation that caused you to pray in the first place leave the vengeance to God beloved leave the vengeance to God beloved and hold fast to your profession in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah Psalms 91 hallelujah God we are protected glory be to god we are kept glory be to god we are delivered glory be to god one shall chase a thousand and two put ten thousands of flight glory be to god take the old armor of god beloved that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil in jesus name arm yourself with the word of god hallelujah to Jesus and keep that faith and keep on believing keep on trusting and wait on God in Jesus mighty name I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father let the words of my mouth God and let the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O God my strength and my redeemer Glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah to Jesus. Go on ahead, beloved. Go on ahead, beloved. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young dragon shall thou trample under thy feet. Glory be to God. Glory be to God hallelujah we need to believe god we need to believe the word of the the lord we need to believe the reports of the lord glory be to god i know that sometimes it sounds crazy sometimes it sounds like a fairy tale sometimes it sounds like you know do they really expect us to have this faith does god really expect me to have this level of focusness this level of vigilance does god really expect me to not be fearful like like do the lord really expect me to have this vigilance this patience this confidence yes 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 some of us will trust the security systems in our home. We have the security system and because of that, we sleep in peace. Because of that, we are content because of a man-made system. Glory be to God. Some of us, because of the type of work that we are in, we feel secure, we feel untouched some of us because of the communities that we live in we feel untouched 
we feel like nobody dare to rise up nobody dare to talk against us if all the earthly things and humans help can allow us to have that level of confidence what say God what say God the author and finisher of our faith the God of creation hallelujah to God what say Jehovah what say the king of king what say the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah hallelujah to God why don't we have this confidence why don't we have this confidence in the Lord hallelujah to God it doesn't matter who is standing before us beloved it doesn't matter who is standing before us we need to remove everything that the world says is victory mm -hmm. we need to take away everything that the world says that victory and prosperity looks like because sometimes we will get the victory beloved but we may not even see it but we will get it whole fast all to the unchanging hands of Jesus Christ your Savior hallelujah to God and let him fight the battles and know that he is the shield of the earth beloved God is a shield of the earth beloved wait on him trust in him hallelujah to God say Lord there was this man that cried out after he had heard everything that God was capable of when he brought his sick son to Jesus he was healing the blind he was casting out demon he was raising the dead he was cleansing leprosy he was doing all these things he was calling the cripple to cripple to walk he was he was multiplying feeding the, the multitudes with, with, with just a couple loaves and fishes he was doing all these things in that time and the man heard of it but yet when he brought his sick son to Jesus there was still a level of unbelief in him there was still a level of unbelief in him but still he brought his sick son but he said Lord help my unbelief Lord help my unbelief deliver me from unbelief hallelujah to God let me believe and believers the Lord want us to believe in him I think I have a video that says are you a Thomas are you a Thomas and there's another video that says faith it you can go and check out those video hallelujah to God the Lord knows that not everybody will have the instant faith. Not, any, not everybody will be able to convert it at the same time and have consistency. But the Lord never want those who will struggle to believe, to not believe at all. And so he, 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 made, he made it in such a way that he shows us just about everybody that was present. And he's telling us that even though we are in this situation, even though we want to believe God, we want to wait for him. We want to be able to not be fearful. We also want to believe that, but we are struggling to believe. Not because you're struggling to believe. It doesn't mean that the Lord wouldn't answer you because he wants you to believe. He will come and he's saying not because you don't believe, no, but because you're struggling to believe. It doesn't mean that I am not real. It doesn't mean that I won't do it. I want to show you my power. I want to show you what I am capable of doing. I want to show you what it is like to trust in me, to wait on me. I want to give you a taste of my revelation, what who I am. And who I have called you out to be. Glory be to God. So the Lord has blessed you, beloved. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. 
the lord bless you mighty god give us endurance give us endurance help us not to waver in our faith glory be to god the bible said i think in the book of james that a double-minded person should not expect anything from the lord help us not to be double-minded oh god you know why we can't be double-minded if we are double-minded and we don't know who is giving us the deliverance if we are double-minded and we don't know who the help is coming from when the help come we will say oh i never jesus it wasn't because i fasted it wasn't because i seek out some some church people and they came and they prayed for me back three day back to back it wasn't because i i, I fasted it wasn't because i asked for intercession from the church you will give the praise and the glory over to another you will give the praise to another and God is a jealous God we cannot be double-minded we cannot know who we cannot um, question who is our healer who is our protector we cannot have those doubts in our mind because he is a jealous God hallelujah to Jesus beloved be blessed Psalms 91 it is a psalms of protection deliverance a psalms that will bring revelation to your life in jesus name god bless you